Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be answering the question of how much can you actually earn as a print-on-demand seller? Now, there's several different types of print-on-demand. The earnings in this video are going to be specific to print-on-demand t-shirt business, specifically with using passive print-on-demand websites. Passive are the ones where you upload your designs to different marketplace websites and they do everything for you. The active print-on-demand websites are things like Shopify, where you're creating your store and running your own ads to get people to find those listings. So in this video specifically, the earnings are going to be from Amazon Merch On Demand, which is the largest passive print-on-demand style platform. Platform. Although I should say that there are several other ones as well. There's TeePublic, there's Redbubble, the list really goes on. So with that being said, I've always struggled with this concept of showing you guys my personal earnings because early on on this YouTube channel, I did exactly that. And my accounts were looked up, people tried to hack them and they copied my designs. So I found a really good way to show you real legitimate validated earnings for print on demand sellers, specifically on Merch by Amazon. So I'm going to take you over to the computer here and show you what I'm talking about. So if you haven't seen this website before, this is called Empire Flippers. And basically it is vetted and validated businesses that are for sale. Now you can sort these businesses by Amazon merch on demand businesses only. What I like about this is Empire Flippers has a very extensive vetting process. So they go through all of these sellers and they validate all of these earnings. So then we can come in here and we can see all of these different businesses when they were started, sometimes what niches they are in and then how much they are earning on a monthly basis. So I'll put a link down in the description to Empire Flippers pre-sorted to these Amazon merch on demand businesses and you can just kind of keep tabs on how much these businesses are earning. Now quickly before I get into these specific examples the earnings that I have talked about for years for print on demand for my own business are an earnings of an average of one dollar profit per month per listing per site. Now quickly to break that down that is on average for every design that you upload to a passive print on demand website you can expect to earn roughly $1 in profit per month from that design ongoing. It's not just that one month. And then that is for per site that you upload it to. So all of these passive print on demand websites are non-exclusive. So you could create a design, you can upload it to Amazon Merch On Demand. You can upload that same design to Redbubble and you can upload it to TeePublic as well. Now you've gone from $1 profit per month from that design to $3 profit per month for that design. So keep that in mind as we look at a real example right here and we'll see how closely the numbers line up. So currently at the moment, there are three Amazon Merch On Demand businesses for sale. And when I was just looking at this a couple weeks ago, there were three additional ones. So they do change as they sell to buyers and more become available for sale. So when you were looking at this list, you may see different ones, but I've looked through these three already. And the one I'm going to use as an example is the third one. And the reason for that is the first one is based primarily on books. They're using Amazon KDP, although they also do have Amazon Merch On Demand in this business for sale. The numbers are not going to be accurate to print on demand because they are focused more on selling ebooks. And then the second one, it seems like they have just recently uploaded a ton of designs. So their numbers haven't quite caught up on the earnings for the amount of designs that they have uploaded. However, this third one here, I think is a perfect example of an average print on demand business. So let's look at their earnings. So you can see kind of just some overview information on the business, but if you come in and you click view listing, it gives you much more detailed information, a little synopsis of what that business is about. This is sometimes where you'll see what niche they're in, but not every time. And then how much money they're earning per month. So when you're looking at these businesses or when you're looking at how much you can earn from print on demand, I'd say there's three factors that you really need to look at. First is when was the business started? So for this specific business, it was started September 1st of 2018. So that business is five years old. That's how long that they've been working on this business. Now, I should also say in print on demand, you can work on the business for the first year and then you can just let that business kind of ride and do its own thing because it's a passive income business. So the earnings stick around for a long time. You don't have to keep up with that business every month. The second thing that I would be looking at for these businesses is how many designs do they have uploaded? This is going to give you a great expectation of how much you can expect to earn based on how many designs you've uploaded. So for this specific business, it says that they have about 7,100 designs uploaded. So basing that off of the average earnings equation that I was just sharing with you of $1 per listing per month per site, that would mean that they should be earning about $7,100 in profit per month. So when we scroll up and we look at their earnings, their average monthly profit is 7,000 
$479. So that is right in line with the average earnings that I would expect. Now, what I like about looking at this website here is you can go down and you can see how much they've made per month. So as you're scrolling through their earnings, you can see that the business actually peaks about the same time every year. It's about March of every year is when their business is generating the most income. So the average that you are seeing up here is about $7,479 in monthly profit, but the business gets up to about $16,000 in monthly profit at the right time of the year. And then it gets down to about $5,000. So it's taking an overall average and saying 7,000. But when you look at this overall, it may be factoring in some of these very, very low months to get that $7,000 mark. Now, something else that's extremely important to consider here is that this is only for merch on demand. Now, what we were saying before is that you can upload that same design to multiple different print on demand websites. So the average should be about this much for those other websites as well. So let's say that this seller has uploaded 7,000 designs and let's call it an average of $7,000 per month in profit just from Amazon Merch On Demand. Well, once you look at uploading those same 7,000 designs onto two of the other big print on demand platforms, now you're looking at another $7,000 from TeePublic and an additional $7,000 from Redbubble each month. Now the business with 7,000 designs is earning about $20,000 in net profit per month. So if you're just getting into print on demand, I would say that the average earnings you can expect to make are $1 in profit per listing per month per site. And with the sites being non-exclusive, you can multiply that by how many different websites you're uploading to. Now, if you are someone who's just getting into print on demand and you want to know everything about this business model, I've laid it all out in a full print on demand tutorial here on YouTube, totally for free. It goes through everything you need to know for print on demand to get numbers like this. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link down in the description and I hope you check it out. It's got a ton of value in that video. As always, if you have any questions at all, just let me know down in the comments and otherwise I will see you all in the next video.